Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is an old friend of the show, Nadine Doris. Yes, the Secretary of State for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport. So before we get to Nadine, you'll probably remember a few weeks ago, the Tories were quite irate with the public demanding that Boris Johnson resign for breaking the law. The response was twofold. Some Conservative MPs and their friends in the media were saying, move on. People are tired about hearing about lockdown parties. You know, it was just a bit of cake. Another group of Tories were shouting, don't you know there's a war on? So Boris Johnson was fined by police, but we shouldn't make a fuss. While Keir Starmer wasn't fined by police, but we should. What am I getting at? Nadine Doris shared these photos on social media, but she also wrote, We're expected to believe that a curry and beers arrived for about 30 people at 10pm. And this was a break for a work meeting? No reasonable person believes Labour's story. So why do Durham police and what were they told? So we have the photo that has been doing the rounds where Keir Starmer is spied through a window drinking a beer. This is on the bottom right of the screen. It seems Starmer was attending a by-election campaign meeting, so he was working. This took place at a different time during the pandemic to when Boris Johnson was celebrating his birthday and the rules were different. The police did not investigate because it seems no rules were broken, Nadine. But what makes Nadine Fool of the Week is the other image on the screen, Keir Starmer enjoying a curry in a blue pullover. So what's wrong with this, you may ask? Well, the timing is the problem. Before the beer through the window incident, slightly. Now, I want to show you the original photo. A younger Keir Starmer is sitting having a curry with Labour's Frank Dobson. What's wrong with that, you may ask? Frank Dobson died in 2019. The Secretary of State could simply apologise and take down the tweet. Nadine, it seems, hasn't got round to removing this. Yet. Tory politicians and their friends in the media are desperate, and Nadine even more so, it seems. She will defend her crush, Boris Johnson, to her dying breath. Which is pretty embarrassing. So see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.